Hallelujah, 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 grace and peace, family. Good morning, it is a Friday morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is a new day, hallelujah. It is the time where we gather again as believers to make our requests known with thanksgiving. Bible says, be not anxious of anything, but with thanksgiving, make your petition known unto the Lord. Father, we give you glory. We give you all the praises. Lord, we come to you as your children. As GKCC, as the family of believers, as a corporate board, your word is alive and active. It is sharper than any other double edged sword. Your word is alive, Lord. We are here to communicate to you, our Father. That is the only way men and God can communicate. Through prayer and worship. The word says, before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. Father, we thank you that before we even start praying, before we go to any prayer point, already you have gone ahead of us. You have heard us. You have answered us. And with thanksgiving, we receive answers to the prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want to welcome everyone this morning who's joining us with the family and the world at large in prayer to seek God. And I, I will request you to please don't forget to press the share button. Let us Go on to the Great Commission. Let's allow the word of God to go viral. Our first scripture reading, actually our scripture, first scripture for us to pray is in John 4, verse 23. NLT version, John 4, 23. It reads as follows. By the time is coming, indeed is here. Now where true worshippers will worship the Father in truth and in his spirit. The Father is looking for those who will worship him that way. Ha kateria saboboya Mahanda Rabba Sitele Mengerebesia Lu Keteria Mama Ha Katalia Bobos. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is you, O God, who has made us. We are the works of your hand. You are the potter, we are the clay. We come boldly before the throne room of mercy, throne room of grace to obtain mercy in this time of need. And therefore, Lord, we stand in the integrity of your weight. You said in John 4, your word said in John 4, 23, the time is coming and now it is. Lord, I pray for the body of Christ, we pray corporately to worship you in truth and in spirit. Give us a united heart, a heart that is one, to bring out one voice to you that is a worship beyond the voice. That is the worship beyond the song. That Lord, you desire truth in us as your people to love one another, to fellowship in unison, to represent you, to be the express image of the invisible God, visible image of the invisible God on earth. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. That give us the grace to work together as the body of Christ. 
remove fights, remove gossips, jealous competitions that prevail in today's church. And this is your very own body, the church, the body of Christ, the bride of Christ, the one Jesus Christ is coming back to and expecting no wrinkles, no blemishes. Lord, cause us to worship in truth and in spirit, to be true worshipers, true ambassadors of the kingdom of God on earth, to reflect Christ, to be like the olden church, the church of old, where the disciples will be seen that they were with you by healing their shade, with their shadows, they're able to heal people. We pray, O oh God, in Jesus' name, give us the grace to worship you, Father, in truth and in spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove the discord that is in the body of Christ today, creating us, O oh God, a pure heart, which is a reasonable act of worship that you need from us. Creating us a pure heart, O oh God. Restore the joy of our salvation, Lord, so that our service will be pure and true worship to you. Creating us, so oh God, let oneness flow from the heart of the church. That is the true worship that you require. You, don't, you need more than a song to us, not only about the song, but it's a lifestyle of Christ. The Bible says, be holy for I am holy. Let the mind that was in Christ be in us. Cause us, oh God, to walk in obedience. Rip us the lust of the flesh. Rip us the pride of the earth, O oh God. As a church, that we may be able to hear you. That we may be able to bring the plans and purposes of God to fruition. That the body of Christ will live as an ambassador on earth. Lord, we need that praise and worship to live, to be true worshipers. To worship you in truth and in spirit. In truth and in spirit, oh God, that you find truth in us. The worship that you desire from us, oh God, is of a contrite heart and a broken spirit that will not despise. The true worship, oh God, will bring Beauty of the Lord on earth. That true worship, oh God, will cause the church to dominate this fear. That will be the fulfillment of in the beginning. God said, let, let us make men in our image and in our likeness. To rule, to have dominion over everything. Crippled, crippling. Birds of the earth under the waters. Creatures under the waters. That we may dominate, that we may bear, bear fruits. It is the true worship that you are looking for from the church. Creating us, oh God, a pure heart. Wash us, oh God, with the high soap. That our worship will be acceptable to you, oh God. It will be more than a song. It will be more than coming to church. Revealing to us, oh God, the desire of Christ. Through the bride. Reveal God's desire through the church on earth. That some of the things will automatically die naturally. Things like crime, lawlessness, disrespect, lack of human dignity. Those spirits will automatically die when we worship your God in truth and in his spirit. Hey, Keria Baba Saya. Oh, Keteria Mamas. 
Likoria baba sande rebesia. Lumbro kotili mama mahaka taliende. Father, we give you glory. Thank you that you are bringing us new wine as the church bringing new oil and new gray to the glory of the Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We are continuing to repent. Our next prayer point is repentance. And it is an individual repentance. We find the scripture reading in Psalm 119, verse 130. It says, Psalm 119, verse 130. says, the teaching or the entrance of your word gives light. It brings understanding to the simple. Our prayer point is ask the Lord to forgive us for not opening our ears while he speaks to us. Through his word, through his servant, so that we may hear his voice. I'm repeating it. Our prayer point is ask the Lord to forgive us for not opening our ears while he speaks to us. Through his word, through his servant, so that we may hear his voice. The other one says, ask our Father to open our ears so that we may hear him at any time when he speaks to us. According to Romans 8, 14, for who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Oh, forgive us, Lord, forgive us for being a disobedient people, for conforming to the standard of the world. Lord, forgive us for not hearing. Forgive us for being familiar, familiar with your spirit. Forgive us that we even hide in our hearts when you speak. Forgive us, Lord. I pray, Lord, in Jesus' name as an individual, because the prayer point says, as an individual, repent. Lord, forgive me for not obeying you when you speak. Not to choose verses that favors me. To receive the word of truth. Because the Bible says those who are, for who are led by the Spirit, they are the children of God. Holy Spirit, I open myself to you. I open my heart to the leadership of your promptings, of your sovereign power. Convict my heart, open my heart, I'm opening my heart to you. That you lead me to all the truth. Father, the way it says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them. And they will follow me, and I give them eternal life. Lord, I pray for that eternal life. Wash my sins away. Cause me to hear your voice, Lord, not to mix your voice with other voices, to follow you as according to your word. Ah, la la, say, kereresa. Oh, keteria mahandoro bosi alabok. Kako tele membe rebe senderere soro sabos kanderere Oh, forgive us, Lord, forgive me. Make me, cleanse me, wash me. The word says when we confess our sins, you are faithful, O oh God, to forgive us. And cleanse us from all unrighteousness. For you are God of justice. Forgive me, Lord, for disobeying every single weight. Be it tithing. Be it offering. Be it honoring my leaders. 
be it honoring my fellow believers, be it not coming together in the unity of faith with the family of believers, the family of God, not loving my neighbors as self, not obeying you according to your precepts and principles. Forgive me, Lord, in Jesus' name. I repent of my sins, Lord. Make my life whole again. Spirit of the living God, I pray in Jesus' name. Cause me to hear you. And do not allow the enemy to snatch me out of your hand. In the mighty name of Jesus. I give all the glory. I give all the praises. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me, for cleansing me from all unrighteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we continue to pray as a family. We pray as a family. We continue to repent the, the word of God in Deuteronomy 18, verse 9 to 14. Deuteronomy 18, verse 9 to 14, require us that we should not have any other God beside the Lord. Then it reads that we must ask for forgiveness of our family members who still continue to worship ancestors. The scripture reads, I am the Lord your God who brought you from Egypt. You shall not have any other God beside me or before me. You shall not make for yourself carved image of any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I am the Lord your God and a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing mercy to a thousand to those who love me and keep my commandments. Now we're going to pray and, sort and ask for forgiveness. Say, Lord, forgive us. Forgive our family who continue to worship ancestors. Lord, we pray for repentance. Oh, there is confusion in families today, Lord. We forsake your way. It says how good and pleasant it is when brethren come together in unity. Mm. Forgive us, Lord, for disunifying the family. That our families are not even in talking terms because of human rights. Hey, oh, hey, oh, yes, Lord, forgive us, Lord, forgive us. Forgive us, Daddy, forgive us as families. Forgive us, Father, forgive us. For this unity that is in families, families that choose to serve ancestral ancestors, they Consult to mediums. Others cons consult the spirit of the dead. They live a life of say, say, saving the spirit of the dead. And that is an abomination to you, God. And it causes rifts. It causes curses in the family. Causes, there's no happiness in the family because we have drifted away from your purpose and your plan. We do what it pleases. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us. Have mercy on us. Cause us to remember your way that we should have no any other God besides you. You spoke this way, Lord. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. You shall not have any other gods before me. Father, forgive us as families. We stand like the Nehemiahs crying for other family members. Warehouses mushroom with 
witch doctors, sangomas everywhere. Oh Lord, our streets are full of sangomas today. Forgive us, Lord. Oh, forgive us, Father. Forgive us. Forgive us, Lord. Have mercy on us. That you do not be angry at us, oh God. Do not leave us. Lord, you promise in your way you will never leave us nor forsake us. Forgive us, oh God. Young children have been dedicated to idols, to ancestral worship. When it says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Because you reject my laws, I will reject you and your family or your children. Father, forgive us, have mercy on us. Father, forgive us when you walk through Pretoria, when you walk through Rustenburg, when you walk in Johannesburg, you walk in Diamond, KZN, you walk to neighboring areas, Isangomas everywhere. Forgive us, Daddy. It says, when my people are called by my name, shall humble themselves and seek my face and return from their wicked ways. I will hear them from heaven and heal their land. Heal our land, O oh God, against tornadoes or oh, thunders that attack our land today that are unusual. When would ever say perhaps God is angry at us because we disobey him? We become frustrated to a point of consulting to those who speak to bones of the dead. And we are forced by human element or nature to buy before idols and grieve you. Forgive us, O oh God. Do not allow us to go astray. Do not allow us, O oh God. To be smitten by fires or by the sun or the moon by day. Do not allow us, O oh God. You promised that you'll be a shade to us. You promised us, O oh God, that the sun will not smite us by day nor the moon by night. Wash our sins away, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remove the spirit of Antichrist in our land, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove the spirit of Antichrist in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory. We give you honor and adoration in Jesus' name. Amen. We continue to pray and repent. For the church, and remember when we say the church, we are not only talking about our GKCC family only. We talk of the body of Christ at lunch. Now, our scripture reading is found in Matthew 5, 13. It says, you are the salt of the earth, but what good is salt? What good is salt if it's lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. Now we're going to ask the Lord to forgive us for choosing to be unsalty in this ignorant generation. Let us forgive. Let us repent, brethren. Let us for repent as the church at large. Father, forgive us for not arising, for being equally yoked with the world. For ignoring the great call. For ignoring the mandate. For not bringing flavor to the earth. To forget that righteousness exalts the nation. And not to allow our light to shine before all men. So that they may glorify our Father in heaven. Forgive us, O oh God, for being complacent, Lord. Forgiving, forgive us as the church, O oh God, for not arising as the ambassador of the kingdom of God on earth. Forgive us for conforming to the pattern and to the standard of this world. 
forgetting that we are a city in a hilltop that can never be hidden. Forgive us, Lord, to follow our own system, to follow our own traditions as the church that makes the word of God of no effect. Forgive us, O Lord, that our sins are forever before us. And to draw water from systems that are man-made for not impact our community, for not impacting our generation. Forgive us, O God, for, say, for forsaking and not following the ancient landmarks. You called us to be the light of the earth and the salt of the earth. Forgive us for not being the solution, but instead to be part of the world. Jesus Christ says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one will come to the Father except through me. Father, forgive us. Forgive us as the church, O oh God, to be a Sunday church, to make ourselves like a church is where we only gather. We make a church a building, but we do not live this life of a church as the church of God. Forgive us, O oh God, that we even go to extent of having people who are sick amongst us in our community and we barely can lay hands to them. And your word says, those who believe or believers will lay hands to the sick and they shall recover. Today we are even afraid. We will look at our own reputation. And this is about Christ, not us. Forgive us, Lord, for being complacent. Forgive us, Lord, for taking you for granted. Forgive us, Lord, for being used to this gospel. Forgive us, Widimalikile. Cleanse us. Qualify us, O oh God. We repent, O oh God. Your word is still alive. You said, when I close heavens and that there is no rain, and that I send locusts to divide the land. But still remains to say when my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. Lord, we humble ourselves as the church. We humble ourselves as the church this morning, Lord. Forgive us as the church. Forgive us, O oh God, to, defile, to defiling what you wanted it to be clean. For not working, working according to the plan and the purpose. Forgive us, Lord, that today the condition of our country clearly defines the state of the church. Forgive us, O oh God, for not arising as the bride of Christ. Forgive us, Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Wash us, O oh God. You are a God of a second chance. You are able to make all grace to abound, Lord. Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus, knowing that when Amudim will never chase us away from you, we come as clay to the porter. Forgive us, Daddy. Forgive us in Jesus' name. Forgive that today's church has been run by man-made traditions. People follow their own heart, no longer Christ-like. People do what it pleases. We do that as your body. Forgive us, O oh God. Forgive us, Father. We forsake great commission. We forsake Acts 242 coming together of brethren or believers. We have gone astray. We are not like those in the book of apostles where the disciples used to gather in one place and pray, and you, God, make manifest your power. Lord, we desire, we cry for that moment where some problems will never be expected to be discussed. But just as the body of believers come together, as we only speak, as you said in your word, wherever the sole of your feet shall tread, the place is yours we will be able, Lord, to occupy our spheres. We'll be able to bring healing to hospitals. We'll be able to change laws 
which are abomination to you, but to people being lost, which are welcomed or accepted. Forgive us, Daddy, in Jesus' name. Cause us to arise as your people. Cause us to arise as a church. For our light has come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cause us, O oh God, to be like those in the book of Isaiah. That when men's ways are pleasing unto you, you make him peace. You give him peace even amongst his enemies. That you cause the lamp, O oh God, and the lion to fit together. Lumbra Sakatalia Monde Rebebe Sianda Labobos. We know, Lord, that you are faithful to cleanse us, O God. Your word says, while they're still speaking, I will hear. We believe that you are hearing us, O God. We believe that the wolf and lamb shall fit together one day. The lion shall eat the straw like an ox, and that shall be the serpent foot. In the mighty name of Jesus, cause us to be awake as the church. To know that Mudimu, the seed of a woman, shall crush the head of a serpent. Not to be complacent. Not to watch the status quo. Not to say it's okay. Not to make peace with which you don't allow. Cleanse us, daddy. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Our next prayer plan, we continue to repent for our nation. It's a series of repentance, brethren. We cannot afford to live like things are okay. We cannot afford to walk a walk of, of a believer which doesn't differ with the work of just someone who do not have a relationship with God, we have to arise. And by so doing this, when we acknowledge that we have made wrong, come again the spirit of Tobias and St. Balat that doesn't want to comply with the building of the church. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, give us the grace to, to not to see ourselves arrived Yet the nation is bleeding. Yet the people are crying. Where crime is at its peak, but the body of Christ is on earth. We declare war in the world of the spirit. Satan was cast out from heaven. And the Bible says there was war in heaven. And God says, the word of God says, Woe unto son of man, because the grace be Satan has fallen on earth. But I thank you, Lord, that Jesus Christ made manifest for such a time as this. He made manifest to destroy the works of the enemy. So it's the duty of the church. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us the Holy Spirit. When we say this is expedient for me to live, that the comforter, the helper, the paraclete, the advocate will come. And it will lead you to all the truth. We have the Holy Spirit who will help us to navigate in life trail, tra tra trails. With the enemy thing, you've got it. But we thank God that the word of God is forever settled in heaven and on earth. That the seed of a woman shall crush the head of the serpent. Never again shall the church of God be persecuted. Katorobosia. Reketelia Mama Sunday. You are raising a generation of believers who knows that the just shall live by force. The just shall live by faith. And the violent shall take it by force. We are rising, Lord, in repentance. And we say during days of John the Baptist until today, the kingdom of God suffered violence. But the violence shall take it by force. We are arising. We take our rightful position and posture in Christ. And we say we can do all things through Christ who give us strength. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are continuing to pray for the nation. 
we read Hebrews 3.15 and Psalm 98, verse 8 to 11. It reads, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your heart as in the rebellion. Hallelujah. Let us ask the Lord to forgive our nation for not obeying his word. As he said, disobedience is equal to the sin of witchcraft. Oh Lord, forgive us. Forgive our nation. We cannot afford to live in disobedience and rebellion. Your word is active, Lord. We say in disobedience is equal to the wish of the, the sin of witchcraft. And your word continue to say, suffer a wish not to live. Then Lord, we pray that same prayer, that if my people who are called by my name shall return from their wicked ways, we are returning dead. We are returning, Lord, we seek your face. And we stand, O oh God, in the integrity of your way to pray for those who are in authority. All authority come from God. We pray for the nation, the leaders of the nation. I pray, Lord, that forgive us. Forgive us, O oh God, forgive us. Forgive South Africa for being disobedient. For to even allow laws which are that you abhor, O oh God, that is an abomination to laws that you detest. Laws that are against your weight. Lord, forgive South Africa. Forgive us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Forgive South Africa, oh God. Forgive us. Forgive us. Do not allow us, oh God, to go down to the drain. We will never be like other countries who will be called they used to. But we are returning to the plan and the purposes of Jehovah. Only your voice is above many water in South Africa. Your voice thunders. Your voice is powerful. Your weight, your voice breaks the cedars of Lebanon. Your voice, oh God, thunders. It's like the rush, the sound of a mighty water. Sakatora, boss. Laha koteria, babasa. Eketeria mama soto robobosia. Cause the dear to give birth or to be in labor. Keria baba babas. Lendere bebe siaka tolomondo robosia. Forgive us, daddy. You said when we are when when we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to cleanse us. Cleanse us, O oh God. Mudimuf, cleanse us, daddy. Cleanse us, Mudimualukileng. Against challenges that we see. Attack after attack. Municipality after municipality. Neglecting your people. No service. Delivery. Forgive us. We see boisterous wind attacking your people. Forgive us, Lord. We don't know what is the cause. Perhaps it's our iniquity. The word says, oh God, your hand is not too short to save. Neither your ear too deaf to hear. But it is our iniquity that built a wall between us and you. Forgive us, daddy. Break that wall, remove that wall of iniquity. Blot away our transgression, O oh God. Do not send us plague nor pestilences, O oh God. Forgive us, O oh God. Forgive us. Remove every terror that will fly by day nor by night in South Africa. We make you our refuge, Lord. We find refuge in you. I pray, Lord, that forgive us. Cleanse us from any deadly pestilence. Help us, O oh God, by the name of Jesus, by the mercies of God. 
Deliver us from this pestilence that stalks in the darkness. Not the plague that me destroys at the midday. We are running to you, Savior. For the name of the Lord is the strong tower. The righteous runs unto them that are saved. We are running to you, Daddy. Forgive us. Forgive us as the nation. And have mercy on us. Have mercy, O oh God, on us. For fires that mushroom anywhere, buildings are caught by fire. Hey. Oh, yes, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. We don't know what is happening. We don't know our earthquakes or our man made. We don't know if these are signs of the end time. But forgive us, Lord. But we know, God, that you have promised no weight that will never leave us nor forsake us. We stand in the authority of your weight. And we believe. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. We are establishing your present day truth, Lord. That will never forsake us. And that your ears are inclined to the prayers of the saints. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We are continuing to pray. We pray for individuals. Life is happening, believers. There are a lot of things that are happening. People come in the Lord and go out. There are things that the enemy is throwing in the life of God's people. Therefore, the word of the Lord is flawless. The Bible says, let all men be lying and God be true. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 1, which is our scripture, Romans 8 verse 1. It says, so there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Let us ask the Lord to, let us ask the Lord to help people to operate under no accusation from the heart, as this will limit their spiritual strength. Let us ask the Lord to help us to do His weight and to manifest, and, the, and His way to manifest or to take place in our life. Let me repeat. Let us ask Him to help us to do His weight for His manifestation to take place in our lives. Father, your weight is alive. You say there is no now condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. And we know no man and after the flesh. If any man is in Christ, is a new creature. All things have passed away. And we are more than a conqueror through him who has made us. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, help your people to stand, not to allow the voice of an enemy because he's the accuser of brethren to whisper guilt in their lives. Father, help us to walk in the boldness of the Spirit because your word says you didn't give us the spirit of fear but of power, love, and of a sound mind. I pray for sound mind upon our lives, our people, your people, O oh God, to live in total freedom of your word, the liberty of the Spirit. Because the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. I release the liberty of the Spirit, the liberty of the freedom that comes through your word. Upon your people in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We now continuing to pray for families, our families, other people we know. Ezekiel 3 verse 18. Ezekiel 3 verse 18. It reads us, if I warn the wicked, saying you are under death penalty, but you fail to deliver the warning, they will die in their sins. And I will hold you responsible for their death. Let us pray that we, the Lord should give us the grace to minister to people. Not to hold this to ourselves. Let us ask God to give us wisdom to pray for them. To win souls to the Lord. Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Give us the grace to uphold the great commission. You gave us authority, O oh God, to go into all the earth, into all the world, to preach to the nation, O oh God. 
Help us, Lord, not to shy away, not to be afraid of being uh, persecuted or criticized, but to stand in the boldness of your way, the boldness of the Spirit, and to declare Jesus Christ is Lord over your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, give us the grace, Lord, not to be afraid, not to be even ashamed, so that, oh God, these people's blood will never be wanted from us. In Jesus' mighty name. The word says, all authority has been given unto me. So go ye thee and preach my gospel. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Give us the grace to run. Give us the spread, the grace to have passion to witness Christ to people. Bible says, wait in Jerusalem until you are endowed with power. That will become a witness in Judea, in Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the world. Father, we are ready. Send us to the nation. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. We are continuing to pray. I pray we now, our next prayer point is for our family GKCC. We are praying for the church. Our scripture reading is John 14, 23. All who love me will do what I say. My Father will love them and will come and make our home with each of them. Let us ask the Lord to open a hunger for his sweat as one become thirsty for the weight, so that our hearts may become his home. Hallelujah. Let me repeat. Let us ask the Lord to open our hunger, to open hunger in us as the church, GKCC, for his sweat as one become thirsty for the weight for the one who become thirsty for water, so that our heart may become his home. Father, we pray in Jesus' name for GKCC family. As the dear pen for the water of the stream, so I so thirst for you. I pray in Jesus' name, we pray in Jesus' name as the family. According to your word, O oh God, that blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they, for they shall be filled we hunger for thirst. We hunger and thirst for you as the church. We hunger for your authentic truth. We, th we hunger for present day truth. We hunger for doctrine of Jesus Christ is Lord. Doctrine of Jesus as the arisen Lamb of God, whom the grave couldn't contain. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you connect our hearts to you. Connect our hearts as the family to the vine, that we may bear fruit because this is your desire, O oh God, that we must abide in you and you abide in us, and that we may bear fruit, not only fruit, but everlasting fruit. Lord, I pray for GKCC family. Give us a hunger, Lord. Give us a hunger to desire more of you, to seek you, O oh God, to seek you in the noonday, to seek you in the evening, to seek you early in the morning. We stand like a psalm, you say, early in the morning, our voice will rise unto you. Our heart will be open to hear from you. Download your truth to us as a church, oh God. We pray in Jesus' name. For you have commissioned us in Harangua for a purpose. So we cannot operate through on an empty cup. Fill our cup, oh God, as the church to overflow. Feel us, so oh God, as the church to become a well where the thirsty come and drink. Fill us up, oh God. Let us not be a dead sea. Fill us up with fresh water, oh God, that we may be able to share with other people in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in Jesus' name for GKCC people, every member from past rate to leadership, to any form of leadership in the church, to every member in the church, to thirst for your weight. Fill us up, oh God, we are ready 
We open our heart, our mouth wide, that you abide in us in the name of Jesus and us in you because we acknowledge that you are the vine, oh God. And without we cannot do anything in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. My terebebesia. Lombro si katala mahaka la boya. Lenderebe si andara mamandoro bosia. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praises. We are continuing to pray. We pray for people. We pray for God's people. Uh, soul winning is our prayer point. Kotoria masande rebebes. Scripture read is Proverbs 11, verse 30 to 31. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who is wise captured human lives. For God, as a fisherman, he gathers and receives them for eternity. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. He who is wise captured human life. For God, as a fisherman, he gathers and receives them for eternity. Let us ask God to reveal his plan about human lives unto us and give us the spirit to win soul. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray that God should reveal that to us, that we should preach this gospel to people, that no one of God's people should not hear the truth. Father, we pray in Jesus' name. You do not take pleasure in the death of a sinner. We acknowledge the mandate you gave us as the people, as your people, as the church, the body of Christ, to go into all the earth. You say, no way, therefore go ye and make disciples of, of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey the name of the Father and the Son. Teaching them to obey everything. Teach them to obey everything I've commanded you. And surely I'm with you to the very end of the age. Father, I pray in Jesus' name for your people. How will they hear unless they are told? Give us the grace, Lord, to have love. Bible says, Jesus Christ, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not die, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. And when there's a fresh daddy to be able to preach gospel to your people, to be able to share good news, Bible says are beautiful and the feet of those upon the mountain who carry the good news of Christ. Father, we want to share the way to the dying world. We want to share your way. Give us the capacity. Help us, Lord, not to lose our spiritual favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help us to know that it is, it is you, O oh God, who work in us to do and to will and to do what pleases you. It's not about us, O oh God, but it is about Christ the one who dwells in us. Father, help us to preach the word according to your desire. Because, oh God, your word says, it is your desire that the whole earth should be filled with the knowledge of Christ that the water cover the sea. Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Arise, people. Wake, wake people. Awake people who will not compromise, who will never be ashamed of this gospel. But when they see the lost, they must see your heartbeat. Give us the grace, Lord, we pray. To be able to, not to be self-centered, but to want to share this gospel. Let our light shine before all men. That some will be only convicted by the lifestyle. That they will be looking for this Christ that we serve. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Give us the secret, Lord. Reveal unto us why it is so much joy in heaven when one sinner re repent. Open our eyes of understanding that we may, be, we may be unable to comprehend because understanding precedes knowledge. We want to understand the depth, the width, and the, 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 the height of this call of love to your people. Give us the grace, Lord, 
to understand the width, to understand the broadness of it, to understand its fullness. That what is it, Lord, that you have after mankind? In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. Father, we thank you that you are faithful, that you hear prayers made, O oh God. Father, it is the only way that men can communicate with you. It is through prayer. Thank you for Jesus Christ, our high priest, who is able to sympathize with us in our weaknesses. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 94, verse 9 and 10, we say, is he deaf, the one who made you? Yes. Is he blind, the one who formed your ear, eyes? Is he blind, the one who formed your eyes? He punished the nation. He punishes the nation. Won't he also punish you? Let us continue to pray our last prayer point for the leaders of our nation to repent. To repent and hear what the Lord is saying through his servant. Just like king of Nineveh, who had the word of God through John and commanded the people to fast and seek the face of God. Father, I pray in Jesus' name for the leaders of the nation. Rip away their pride. Rip away their the, the, the spirit of all knowing, yet they are not God. Father, I pray for their heart not to be hardened. Open their eyes to see and to honor the office you entrusted them with the life of your people. Just like the king of Nineveh, when he heard how angry God was for the people of Nineveh, and you sent Jonah, and he commanded the people to pray. Raise a leader, O oh God, who will just make a clarion call for South Africans to come and pray and seek the face of God. And when Amudim, you saw their works, you saw your, their heart, that they turned from evil and you relented from the disaster. Father, do the same with South Africans. Remember the days of old when you said, when you see the rainbow, you should remember that I will never ever destroy my people with flood. Somehow South Africa is a, is a rainbow nation. Lord, I pray the very same scripture in their lives. That rainbow nation arise. And when we see the rain, the sign of a rainbow, remember that God will never kill mankind with flood. Repent from your iniquity. Repent from your hardened hearts. Seek God while he may be found. And God will relent. God will never continue with the disaster or the punishment he desires. Because his loving kindness is better than life. He's slow to anger, full of mercy and compassion. We give you the glory, Father. We bless your name. That fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And the kings of a heart is in the hand of the Lord. Just like the stream of water, you channel it to what all pleases you, to where it pleases you. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name for our leaders. And we thank you that we have heard our prayers. And that we may live a peaceful life in the mighty name of Jesus. We give all the glory. Thank you for answering our prayers, Lord. Thank you to give us the grace to pray. Spirit of the living God, we didn't know how to pray, but you helped us in our weaknesses. And we receive prayers. We, we receive answers to the prayers made in this altar. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that your ears are inclined to the prayers of the saints. That's why you said, call unto me. I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know us not. We receive even those that we didn't pray for. We receive salvation of your people. We receive the deliverance, the repentance of our national leaders. 
We receive the breakthroughs, oh God. We thank you for giving our church GKCC title deeds because we gave our parents a vision to raise a people who will establish the kingdom of God in all spheres of life. And Lord, we thank you that there are branches that we are looking forward to. We're looking at Mami Lord, we're looking at Lithabile, we're looking at Etrejville, we're looking at Soch and Guve. And we know, God, that already you have walked ahead of us. You have gone ahead of us because you said, ask of me the nation and I will give you the nation as your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. We thank you, God, that you watch us over your way to perform in the mighty name of Jesus. We give all the glory, the honor, and the adoration. Thank you, Lord. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forever. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, believers. Thank you, brethren, for praying. The Lord is faithful. He watches over his way to perform. Have a blessed day ahead. In Jesus' name, amen.